I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're out at Rosemont at the World of Wheels and I met Al. Al, what's your last name? My name is Al Bailey. Al Bailey and his car is named Cotton Candy. You'll see why in a moment. What year make and model is this That one? is a 1956 Mercury Custom Convertible. Let's go right to the car, shall we? So, Al, first of all, how long have you had this car? What year did you I get built it? that car in 2004 uh, and finished it in 2005, so one year. January the 1st to January the 1st. And all the cars you're around at the show have been two 15-year builds, and your car was one year. One year. Now, let me see those hands. One year by them two hands <coughs> in my garage. <laughs> Nothing went out of that garage but the chrome. Look at this. So now... When you saw this car, obviously you've trimmed it in Mercedes-Benz headlights. <coughs> yeah, those How are... did you create this in your mind? Well, you know, oddly enough, uh, I went, and we'll look at that in a minute, the yeah. Chrysler taillights, I went to the junkyard to get those. Out of the way, I spotted those Mercedes headlights, and I said, no, I think I can make them work. And uh, so I went back, looked at them, and fit them right into the Mercury fenders. And I hope people can see this. This paint is pearl. It's pearl. It's uh, it's pearl, pearl. I mean, pink frost with a bit of violet pearl. In it. And you painted this? Yes, I painted it. Oh I did not do the pinstriping. Pinstriping. We're going to give you a pass on the pinstriping. Okay, I think you've you. done everything else pretty well here. Tell me about these bumpers now. Well, when I put the headlights in, <clears throat> the bumpers were covering the bottom of the headlights. So yep. I lowered the bumpers in the opening. That's the stock grill, but the bumper just lowered two inches in the opening. And those guards are come off the Mercedes, so uh, they match the Mercedes headlights. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look at this one from the side, shall we? We got this wonderful 50s jewelers. Got to have the louvers. Got to have the louvers in the 50s. Now, when we step back, and let's take this one in for just a moment. Tell me what's happening with the side of this car. If you look at the side of that car, the first thing you'll see behind where the door closes are Barracuda hood scoops. So I took the hood scoops off of Barracuda and so Plymouth them. Barracuda. Plymouth Barracuda. Yep. Let's take a look. Come on. <laughs> then the next thing, I took a '53 Buick. We took the chrome off of the side of the 53 Buick and fit it on here. Uh, then we added the uh, lake pipes just as a filler. They're not hooked up. They don't work. They just fill between the bottom of the body and the floor. Now, this is on bags. We're not going to let it's you... It's on air bags, yeah. But It comes up about five inches. You've driven this car how I've many driven miles? that car 2,400 miles on the road. So it's a driver. It is a driver. I build it as a driver. <laughs> Tell me about these right. taillights. Those now. are the taillights. Everybody that builds a custom likes to use the Packard Clipper taillights. I knew I didn't want to do that. I spotted this 59 Chrysler. And I said, you know, I think I can make them work. And they had the same contour as the Mercury. So I fit them in this. And we've got... Tell me about this custom... Well, the Continental kit was just a Continental kit. We found the Coca-Cola clock in an antique store. And that's a real antique because Coca-Cola produced their logo to go with it. And that clock's functional. That's out of a, out of an antique store. And it's functional. It's, it's where it works, yeah, that's the correct time. You're filming this at three o'clock. <laughs> this is great. Uh, of course it's the correct time. What's this award that you won? We were in Dallas, Texas, <clears throat> and I think I will show you in a minute. George Barris was one of my old time favorites. Yo. George Barris oh, passed yeah. away last year. He picked my car to give the, his trophy to that was emblematic of the kind of custom he had built back in the day. That's high praise right there. Oh, very high. If, if George Barris says your car is a custom. And I think I showed you before. So, so, so take, take me through the steps here. All right, George Barris. I have right. George Barris, and he signed that in 2004. Who do we have so on the other side? On this, well, on the opposite side of that is Dave Kindig with Bitch and Ride. Yeah. And he put one Bitch and Ride on it. 
old school. Go, go, go back, go, go back just a second. What's that? All right, this one is Chip Foose. He actually drew a picture of my convertible and then signed it. So that was another one of my late time favorites was Chip Foose. And then the other and side. And then the other side was Gene Winfield. <laughs> so uh, all the old time builders and the new time builders, they I got to sign my car. car. They love my car. Let's, uh, I see no door handles. Well, pop a button right here. Pop the and, button in and, the Barracuda hood scoop. Right. And then, uh, and it opens like so. Right. Let me stand right where you are for just a minute. Right I'll show here. those. Just want to make sure that, that door don't close on you. Go ahead, I got the door. Those this seats are out of a 61 Thunderbird. <clears throat> And they fit in there perfectly. This is off of a 65 Thunderbird Roadster. So the 61 seats fit right inside it. Tell me, tell me what's happening. The console is out of a 1964 Ford. And the only thing I've got gauge I've got in there is the air ride suspension. So that's right your air ride suspension. It's on the ground, so it's sitting on the ground. Right. Right. May I sit in your car? May I sit in here so oh, I can get these right gauges? Yes, sir. Here's your the outline of and I'm the noticing the, the gauges. The park reverse neutral drive. All right. The outline of the gauges is mercury. Here. But the insets are dolphin gauges, so I put those in there. But I fit them in the original casing. Everything on the car is functional, it works. Even down to a back seat. You can't have a cruiser unless you have a radio in it. So my <laughs> cruiser has a radio. Before I forget, let's uh, let's show them the trunk, okay. and we're going to show them the uh, under the hood, and then we'll fire it. But let me just show people the stock there. All right, let's show them the trunk, shall we? All right. <clears throat> Inside the trunk needed to be finished off just like the outside of the car. So I carried the white theme with the pleats in it from the center right on down into the trunk. <laughs> You must understand. Tell me. This is not a professional build. This car was built in my two-car garage with my two now, hands. This is a professional build. No, sir. This, <laughs> this, this is my professional build. <laughs> we'll let the audience decide. I, I hear what you're saying. Your humbleness is outstanding. Well, but uh, we're going to see what people think if this is a professional build or not. Let's take a look under the hood, shall right, we? Let me close this back All right. First thing you'll notice under the hood is a Mercury emblem, 56, with cotton candy. That's the first thing I did. That's the first thing. And then the next thing is that is the engine that this car was born with. Uh, all I've done was put some valve covers and, and three tubes on it, but everything else is stock Mercury. Wow. Wow. Let me go to the other side real quick while you got that open. So your heater here. Yep, I got it. Remember, it's a road driver. I gotta have a heater. Yep. All right, can we start it up? I'll hold it. Oh this. yeah. And then I'll uh, I'll let you come back out and we'll we'll let you shut the hood and then uh, we'll give it a uh, a rev.
coming on with the uh, car off. That's okay. All right. Al, what an awesome car. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I had such a fun time with you. Cotton candy is absolutely delicious. <clears throat> well, we took this car on the ISC circuit. Yeah. 2006, 2010, and 2012. We won three national class championships with it. This year, I'm here for one reason and one reason only. Yeah, what's that? Fun. I'm enjoying it. I'm, let me tell you something. I'm sitting across from this year's Riddler winner. Yeah. I'm sitting across from last year's Riddler winner. Yeah. I'm sitting across from a Dave Kinding bill. Yeah. Can I get any better than that? <laughs> oh, my happy camper. Al, what a treat. So nice to see you. And so, so wonderful to have cotton candy. Well, thank you, Luke. I, 